talking to Dr. James Busby and he wrote this book, How to Afford Veterinarian Care Without Mortgaging the Kids. How did you become a veterinarian, Jim? I was born into a family of veterinarians, so it's kind of in my blood. My great-grandfather was a veterinarian approximately 100 years ago. My father died while I was going to school, so when I graduated I actually took over his practice. But it's something I've done for over 40 years and I've been very happy with my choice. So tell us a little bit about your book. The book is something that I wrote because I'm becoming disgusted with what, with what the profession is becoming. I, I don't agree with a lot of things that are going on in the, in the veterinary medicine because I feel they are charging for a lot of things that are unnecessary. If pet owners are educated, if they know something, they then are able to say no when their veterinarian tells them you need this or that. And so many things today are simply not needed. The book discusses in particular um, veterinarians' diagnosis of Lyme's disease. Everyone knows that's in the news. Could you talk more about your concerns with Lyme's disease? Lyme disease is common in this country. Lyme disease is a very serious problem in people. Uh, they can have all kinds of symptoms. I had a DNR man in my office a year or two ago who had just got out of the hospital. He spent two years, two days in intensive care because it affected his heart. This doesn't happen to dogs. Actually, I've seen only five or six cases of Lyme disease in my life, and these were 15 or 20 years ago. I haven't seen a confirmed case of Lyme disease in over 15 years at least. There is a Lyme vaccine out, and I've read several times that all 27 veterinary colleges do not recommend vaccinating for Lyme disease. Hmm. It's, it's just simply not a problem, and yet this is a shot that many veterinarians recommend on a yearly basis. Now, the American Veterinary Medical Association in an article states flatly that you can't diagnose Lyme disease in a dog unless you have symptoms and while people get many symptoms dogs get only one and it's a very specific symptom it's an acute multiple leg soreness a dog limping in one leg is not Lyme disease it's probably a sprain if it goes into two or three legs then you suspicion Lyme disease the AVMA says you can't diagnose it without symptoms, and then it has to respond dramatically, which is just a day or two to appropriate treatment. Without these two things, you can't diagnose it. Now, here's something that really galls me. There is a test on the market for Lyme disease, and many, many veterinarians, thousands of clinics, are using this on an annual basis. The only problem is, and this is documented again, 50 to 90% of normal healthy dogs will show positive to the test. When they follow these positive dogs for years, they don't come down with symptoms any more than one to test negative. So the test is worthless. I had a, a recent graduate from the University of Minnesota who works for a vet in Wisconsin tell me that her employer would not be crazy about my book. She said, and I quote, her employer is making $600 a day testing and treating positive dogs for Lyme disease. That's in the neighborhood of $150,000 a year. Now, this is not only unethical in my mind, this should be criminal. And yet the pet owning public doesn't know this. And this is just one other factor in my book that will give pet owners the knowledge to say, no, I don't want that. So our book is How to Afford Veterinarian Care Without Mortgaging the Kids. And can you tell us, Dr. Busby, how to get this book? The best thing I can tell you is to look at my webpage, oldcountryvet.com. It has a quite a detailed breakdown of what I've just said. It, it gives my email address if you want to contact me, and you can order it off my webpage. You can also get it from Amazon.com or any bookstore can order it. But look at my webpage, oldcountryvet.com. Thank you, Dr. Busby, for the fascinating interview, and I'm sure we'll hear more about the book.